Hey guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about email services in Salesforce. In order to create an email service, you're going to first need to create a class that implements the messaging inbound email handler interface. I'm going to show you an example of such an Apex class, but I'm going to show you first how to create an email service, assuming you already have built that class. If you go to the setup menu and search email service, click new email service. I've already created the email service, so I'm going to show you which properties I've set the email service name the apex class I've already created I've looked up to it I've chosen not to accept attachments no advanced email security settings I've set the service to only accept emails from gmail.com I've activated the service and I don't convert text attachment to binary attachments you can choose to discard bounce or recur message based on any of these reasons for an email service failing and you can enable every routing to send a notification error email to a specified email address in this box instead of sending it back to the sender. You can set the email service to accept emails from specific addresses but I've just chosen the gmail.com domain. You can obviously have multiple entries separated by commas. An email service only processes messages it receives at one of its addresses so you need to create these addresses. In this case I've created a new email address that the service receives messages from. I've named it a appropriately and I can create new ones. When I create a new one I can set the context user in other words the Apex code is going to run in this user's context. You can set the email that you're going to accept from and obviously you have to set a unique name. When I create the new email you'll notice a new random email address is created which the service will receive from. But in my example I'm going to use the first one I created already. Don't forget to activate your email address as well as your email service. So let's take a look at the Apex client which handles this email service. The key is that it implements the messaging inbound email handler interface. It's a global class. Then you've got a global handle inbound email function which returns an inbound email result with parameters of inbound email and inbound envelope. This line just instantiates a new instance of inbound email result. We declare string variable my plain text and we assign the email from the parameters dot plain text body to that string. We create a new array of tasks and when that unique email address that we created gets an email into it it's going to run this piece of code. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to look at the contact object and try find a contact that has an email address with the email address of the sender. If it finds that contact it creates a new task, sets the description to the body of the email, priority of the task to normal, status of the task to inbound email, the subject of the task to the actual subject of the email, is reminder set to true, the reminder date time for the task to tomorrow, system now plus one, and it sets the who ID of the task to the contact which we just searched from the email address of the sender. It then inserts that task, does a debug just spitting out the task details. If there was some query exception and the email sender's email didn't exist in the contact list then it just throws a debug with the error and at the end the newly instantiated inbound email result success property gets set to true and is returned. So basically an email sent from any contact results in a task being created with these properties. So let's send this email address with the subject and body that will create that task. To address set to that email, subject line is test subject and body of the email to this is a test task description. Let's send that email. Now let's go to the contact whose email was the email of the sender. You'll see a new task has popped up on the activity feed. This is the task which we created with the Apex code that ran when the email came into the email service. You'll see the subject is set to the subject of the email and the description is set to the body of the email. The task owner or the assigned to field is set to Eric Jackson which is the context user that we set for this email service. The record that the task is related to is Rob Vanderlei which is the contact that contained the sender's email. So that's a simple way for us to interrogate an email coming into an email service and creating records or updating records accordingly. Take note of the following creating email services. Email services 
only processes messages which receives at one of its addresses. Salesforce limits the total number of messages that all email services combined can process daily. That limit is calculated by multiplying the number of user licenses by a thousand and maximum being one million. Email service addresses can't be copied to your production org. You can tell Salesforce to send error email messages to a specific address. We went through that. And email services reject email messages and notify the sender if the email exceeds 25 meg. And that's how you use email services in Salesforce. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe for future videos.